of hair for me to do on my own. So, my hair is divided already and I look a little bit weird, but basically um, this top part here that I did like a braid and then a bun and then this part here and on the back I did another section and I just wrapped it around the other buns. I ordered this big developer here, which is a Thirsty Volume developer. Then I have like the bleaching powder, exactly the same that I use for my boyfriend. And then I have a toner here, which is like a Platinum Ash Pearl Blonde. And then I have some pigments here, I have like blue and pink, in case I want to mix a little bit after. So let's, let's start with the bleaching first and then we'll see how it goes. I'm going to apply it first like one inch below the roots and I'm going to leave it for about 40 minutes and then apply it to the roots and leave it another like 10 minutes because the roots always lighten up first. So we decided to wrap the small portions of hair in foil just to warm the hair and get the bleach to work faster. We left the roots for the end because usually it lightens up much faster than the rest of the hair. So here's what we have after the first bleach. So I washed it and here's how it looks. So yeah, I think it looks much more orange on camera because I get my uh, camera saturation a little bit high because I like the colors to pop more. Um, but here is not as orange but Definitely it would look better if I went with bleach again at the end of the hair But the thing is I ran out of bleach I just hope that the toner really works on this tone And to tone this I'm going to be using like a blonde hair dye And this is called um, Platinum Ash Pearl Blonde So this is what I'm going to use I'm going to mix it with a developer And also I'm going to use a little bit of blue pigment And probably any hairdresser will be like Super scared when the hair turns blue or green But I personally like it Either way I'm going to try it and let's see how it goes So guys, I came outside, I'm sorry, it's super bright, um, but yeah, I left it for like 40 minutes and I don't know how this is going to go, probably it's going to look blue or greenish, but I'm gonna give it a try, I'm gonna wash it off now. Okay guys, are you ready to see? Like if I stand this way with my hair down, you can't see anything, but the party is on the back, let me show you. So this is what we have on the back on camera looks like very orange here and very blue here in natural lighting because my camera has a saturation thing that i added so on the natural eye like me just seeing myself in the mirror is not this bad it's more like this as you're seeing it doesn't look like this orange but the thing is this part was the part that i would bleach twice if I had uh, more bleach but I ran out of bleach so what I'm going to do is basically when my roots grow back I will do the touch up on the roots and then also put bleach here like from here down probably and also something fun that I can do now is just to dye this part different colors you know I can do it like pink and blue I realized that this is very cool to play with different hairstyles maybe just like this and just show a little bit or like updos is the thing that I want to do the most like two ponytails that look so cute like this and even a bun so yeah I'm gonna cut and I'm going to cut a lot so probably something like this and I'm gonna show you how I cut at home too in case you guys uh, need some help on that let's go okay guys so I'm gonna start with the bangs which is the easiest for me still getting used to see little pop of blonde um, and all these bangs as you can see I straighten them and yeah if I just wear them like this I can see I shop it like square like this 
but then I just put the scissors vertically to remove volume. But let me just really and see if the yeah, this is not enough. I need to add more, and I miss this bit. Swear to God, my face must be like the ugliest thing when I'm cutting the bangs. Yeah, I think this this is better. Okay, now don't forget to remove some volume cutting vertically. Especially on bangs, I don't like them with a lot of volume, but I do this to my entire hair. And just keep doing this, I'm going to fast forward now. I think I'm happy with them now, so yeah, I'm gonna take this off now, because now we are going to cut the rest of the hair. Okay, so I'm just dividing it and leaving just the bottom part. I'm going to cut it here and bye bye hair! No going back now, it's too long. So now that I cut it, I'm just going to do the vertical cuts and my floor is going to be a mess. Now another piece and do the same thing over and over to this bottom layer that we have here. Okay guys, so this part is done and I will just bring it to the back while I take some more hair. So what you can do also is to bring just a tiny piece from what we cut it first to see like the length, but this layer you're going to cut it even above this one to create like some layers, otherwise it's going to be completely squared. Okay, I'm gonna cut this side. Okay guys, so before we grab another piece from here, I will bring everything to the front. And as you can see, there are some of them here which are a little rough. So what you can do is just grab like this vertically, where you grab like a mesh of hair from both layers, and you'll vertically just adjust. Okay, so now the layers are looking a little better. Bring another piece. I'm just going to leave like the top, top layer here. And since these are like top layers we are working with now, what I'm going to do is grab another piece from the back just to see like the length. And now I want to kind of go above it and just vertical cut it a few times until I reach the length. See how it matches perfectly? That's what I want to do. Okay guys, it's done. I really love this length because the length is not as overwhelming as before. It was really, really long. Just look at all this. I could probably do a wig with this. So that was it guys, thank you so so much for being so supportive of my weird experiments. I really love uh, doing weird stuff, even if that means damaging <laughs> hair, but luckily that didn't happen. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the hair, let me know if you guys like it. Also, now that it's bleached, I'll probably be doing more experiments with it, probably like new hairstyles, and there's probably going to be more hair videos soon. So don't forget to subscribe so you can be up to date to all my content. I'm going to shoot this hair today, so I'll probably have a lot of pictures with this hair on my Instagram, so go follow me there as well, and follow my TikTok. Everything is on the description. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, see you on the next one.